The question arises, why do I have such passion uh, for these issues relating to women's health? Uh, because I think they're so important. It's just that it has such profound consequences for not just a given family, but a society as a whole. And we're not facing up to these issues uh, of how critical it is that uh, a pregnancy being a very special time in life when uh, so much is happening in terms of development of the baby uh, that is going to have profound consequences later in life. I've been funded by the National Institutes of Health since 1964, which is before most people were born. But I have to give a little background. I trained as an obstetrician gynecologist at USC, LA County Medical Center. And I guess I made the mistake of becoming interested in brain damage in children. So then I went and GCLA and University of Pennsylvania and trained in neuroscience. And because of the research I was doing, I was involved in writing sections of the Surgeon General's report on uh, smoking and health and, uh, and pregnancy and newborn health. Also, we did a lot of work on exercise in pregnancy and how this is affecting uh, growth of the baby. And the guidelines we recommended are still used by the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists for pregnant women. If I had to uh, try to summarize this whole issue, uh, it's probably overly simplistic, but I think that as a society, we should uh, give uh, more attention to uh, pregnancy and early life and development uh, in terms of proper nutrition, uh, minimizing stress, uh, and uh, with the appreciation that this will not only help produce better children, better offspring, which we want in our society, people that are more gifted and intelligent and uh, good people. And I, I just uh, have a, a passion <laughs> that we try to address these issues and make certain that to quote one of my friends at the National Institutes of Health, every pregnant uterus is a center for excellence. <laughs>